today I will show you how to knit a corkscrew scarf on the passup. First you have to make a punch card. You can download it for free from the link in the description. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Raise 24 needles on the front bed of the machine, 12 to the left and 12 to the right of zero. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and arrange them in one to one division. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 1. Set the back lock to GX and insert the black strippers. Now take the waste yarn. I will use two strands of acrylic yarn. Now knit one row. Raise the needles back into working position and tap on them to tighten the yarn. Increase the stitch size to 3 and knit one row to finish the cast on. Increase the stitch size to 5 and knit 20 rows with the waist yarn. Tap on the needles when knitting the first few rows to tighten the yarn. Now set the front lock to BX and take the main yarn. I'm using two strands of acrylic yarn. Lower the front bed and attach weights to the waist yarn. Now raise pushers on the row working needles and attach the card reader in the middle. Take the punch card and insert it until you hear a click. Then press and hold the black lever and insert the card three rows more. The sensing feelers must be arranged for the first row of the card. Push the trip cam for the row counter to the left as far as it can go. Now slide the deco device to the right, attach it to the front lock and set it to 2. Now need 47 rows. If you can loop the cart, you will be able to make the process automatic. The laminating pouches I use are too thick and the cart gets stuck into the reader, that's why I will show you how I will knit the scarf using only one punch cart. When you need the 47th row, the lock will be on the left side of the machine. You probably know that the deco device collects information from the sensing feelers when moved to the right and arrange the pushers when moved to the left. After knitting the 47th row, there won't be any information for the deco to collect. You can see the feelers. Now you have to press and hold the black lever on the reader and bring the card to the starting position again. The sensing feelers must be arranged for the first row of the card. For your convenience, you can remember the number in the viewfinder. Now knit one row to finish the first wedge. The deco already has the information for the first row of the next one, so you have to continue knitting the next wedge. I will leave the whole process so you can see it again, it's a very simple operation. To make this scarf you have to knit a total of 4800 rows or 100 wedges, so it's best if you can loop the punch card. If I can figure out how to make the card longer or a way to loop the thick ones I have, I will give you an update. Or I would be very happy if you share with me your ideas on what improvements can be made. Also, don't forget to like the video and send me a photo of your scarf, I will be very happy to see how it turned out. Now you can see once more how I'm adjusting the card for the next wedge. After adjusting the card, you can immediately start knitting the next wedge. Don't forget to rehang the weights frequently. I'm ready to take it off. Set the front lock to N and remove the deco device. Take the waist yarn and knit 20 rows.
Leave the eyelet in the color changer, take off the weights and remove the scarf from the machine. Now you have to finish both ends and remove the waste yarn. I will use the back stitch to sew the ends. You can iron the scarf or leave it like that. Also, you can twist it in a circle. If you skip the ironing, it will look like a big flower. Take one of the ends, twist it and it's ready to wear. Do you like it? Tell me in the comments below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you in my next video.